let's go into crude oil. Okay, let's look at the pattern recognition. We know to trade off a of market profile. We know that. That's our number one indicator to trade off of. It's been working since 1985, market profile. We know that. We know market profile trumps every single indicator out there. My long-term members know that. It trumps stochastics, divergence, the moving average covergence, divergence, all of those are lagging indicators. Useless compared to market profile. Market profile, especially volume profile, dictates order flow. That's all the algorithms out there that control this market, control the markets, all the banks, hedge funds, prop firms, amateur traders, professional traders. My three volume profiles will spit out spit out major support and resistance. So we know how to trade off those. We got over 350 videos on how to trade those. What happens when you get profile that overlaps pattern recognition? Meaning what happens when you see patterns in the market and then market profile coincides with those patterns? Meaning if I can predict a pattern and then all of a sudden market profiles on top of that pattern, you got yourself a winning combination. Let's look at yesterday's trade. I projected this big sell-off right here yesterday, and I did it last week again also on an $800 potential trade. That sell-off was projected because of this descending triangle projection. What a descending triangle is, it's very simple. It's going to have two double bottoms and two lower highs, and that is a very bearish pattern. Okay, that's a very bearish pattern. A descending triangle is very bearish. So what we want to do is we want to see the market break below the double bottom and get short the market on the first retest, which we did yesterday in crude. Look at yesterday's video. And look at that profit potential. Really big profit potential. It broke through market profile, got our first retracement, negative market delta, and that was pattern recognition right there. That's a descending triangle. Okay, we had one earlier last week too, which was a huge descending triangle. It was over to $800 trade potential risk and 130 bucks. So there's an ascending and descending. Okay, you can look them up on the area to get a little bit more definition. But those two are very important for us to understand. Now today was a rising wedge. Now rising wedges are bearish. Okay, rising wedges, you're gonna have two lower highs, or two higher lows and two higher highs. Once you do that, you can project you can project a rising wedge. So you can buy when it hits a lower wedge with trend if it's in an uptrend, but once it's broke, and I told traders in the room to watch for this, once it breaks and retests, look for a change in trend. It broke the wedge, it retests the top of the wedge and my HVA together, look how it came together, and look at this market tank. Look at the market tank, and I projected this before it even broke the wedge. I projected that trade right there before it broke the wedge. High value area was the break retest, and I projected this descending triangle yesterday, break retest here also. Because I'm looking at two strong patterns that happen weekly in these markets and all these markets, and market profile was the same exact alignment. So yesterday, when I broke through market profile, it also broke the bottom of the, de of the descending triangle. Okay? Today, on that rising wedge, I told traders in the room, it's a bearish pattern. You can buy the lows if it's like, if it hit, comes down to control point and testing the bottom of the con control point here, and you are hitting the bottom of the rising wedge, buy it. What's your target? The top of the rising wedge. What happens, you know it's a bearish pattern, because I'm educating you that way, and you know it's a bearish pattern, so what you want to do is you want to look for a break, retest of that wedge, which I projected, it hit it. Negative market delta came right over here at negative 580 negative market delta, or you can use a reversal bar here. Either way, right at the top of the wedge. Either way you want to do it, and you just got yourself in a successful trade because that was a break retest of the rising wedge, which is a bearish pattern. All right, so we can. I'm going to teach you and educate you guys all day long on these patterns. Ascending and descending triangle, you can write this down. There's only patterns you need to know. There's over 150 different potential patterns in the market. Okay, with the Gartley patterns, with the butterfly patterns, and all these other patterns. My most important patterns are these patterns that I see daily in all these markets and weekly. 
you see ascending and descending triangles. You see rising wedges, which are bearish, falling wedges, which are bullish. It's a simple break retest of that wedge, getting into the trade like we did, like it was projected. Very simple how to trade a rising wedge. Buy the lows in an uptrend, sell the highs in a downtrend, and then wait for the wedge to break, retest it. Descending triangles are very easy. You've got two double bottoms, two lower highs. Once it breaks, take the first sell retest. We caught that one yesterday. We caught a huge one last week, over $800 risk and 130 bucks potential. So we know rising wedges are bearish, falling wedges are, bu are bullish. We know descending triangles are bearish, ascending triangles are bullish. The other pattern is bull flags and bear flags. You won't see too much of those, but look them up. They happen when FOMC meetings happen or they bump rich interest rates up or down. You'll see big five-minute bar up, five-minute bar up, five-minute bar up, and then it goes sideways, forming a flag. Once it breaks outside that flag, you take the first retest. It should go in the uh, direction of the flag, and it should go the amount of ticks of the flagpole or those five-minute bars. So there's bull and bear flags. Lastly, we have symmetrical wedge. I've been doing showing you that pattern since we opened the room. That is a very simple pattern. That is where the you come in and the magenta MA, our trend filter, is fly as a pancake. That's two lower highs, two higher lows. You, you once you break out and retest that, you sell the high, buy the low in symmetrical wedges. Once you break out, retest, then you get long or short to market. So that's all the patterns we need to understand with market profile is descending, ascending triangles, rising wedges are bearish. You can still buy the trend line until it breaks, then you take the retest for the bear pattern. You got symmetrical wedges and you got bull and bear flags. And the beauty of it is, as you can see, I projected this yesterday before it happened. We were inside of the symmetrical, I mean inside the descending triangle right here. We're inside of it and I said that's a bearish pattern. Once it breaks retest, we got all this profit potential. Today, I said you can buy the low of the wedge until it breaks. Then you take the first retest of the wedge. You got all this profit potential. Sure enough, it broke down, came down to my triple wall on LVA, bounced from LVA all the way up to HVA, bottom of the wedge that it broke, which is bearish. Beautiful sell in this last short. Okay.